Hello, this is a short tutorial to demonstrate how you can use Systra Analytics um, to produce a report that shows the progress of students in a particular class. You may use this in preparation of a line management meeting or a performance management review or to validate your judgments on a reduce and variation sheet. So from this home page I'm going to click on reports and at this stage I have two options. If I was looking to make a progress over time judgment I might use last year's leavers data and how they performed in the examinations at the end of last year. But let's say for this demonstration I'm going to look at a current progress judgment and so I'm going to use current assessment data. So over here we have the assessment function and it'll even tell me when that report window took place. So when I click on that I get three options. I could see what the, the, the school's headline predictions were based on this report window data or I could look at an individual student and see how they were performing across all curriculum areas. But if I'm looking to, uh, to, to form some judgments on, on current progress uh, for a particular group, I will go on the qualifications function. Now, if I was doing this in preparation for a performance management or line management meeting or a reduce and variation judgment, I wouldn't obviously need to know uh, which members of staff taught each group. But what I've got at this stage is a, is a subject by subject analysis, which is obviously useful in itself. We have the uh, attainment uh, predictions here and then the progress predictions here. So if I click on English for demonstration purposes, I will see that breakdown on a class by class basis. Now this looks even better when I use this drop down menu and convert that into a progress matrix. Now what that shows me now for English is the proportion of students that are making expected progress and the proportion of students that are making better than expected progress all the students in the pink boxes are making less than expected progress so according to this um, 77 percent of students are on target to make three levels of progress and 29 percent of pro students in English are expected to make better than expected progress but where this becomes a really valuable tool is when I use this drop down menu. That is, obviously, that table below is for the whole of the English uh, department, but I'm looking to, look, uh, to drill down into the progress of one particular group. So let's say I'm looking to review the progress of 11 A, B, E, and 3. It will now upload that data and show me the progress matrix for just that class. So I can see here 11 A, B, 3, 90% are expected to make expected progress and 42% are predicted to make better than expected progress. If I wish to, I could export that and actually use that and it will create a, um, an Excel spreadsheet with all of that information on which would allow me to print it off if I wanted it in paper format for the review meeting or for any other use that I was hoping to use this for.